Welcome back. I hope that you are in good health. High doses of vitamin C makes cancer treatment more safe and effective by weakening cancer cells. Research reveals that vitamin C can not only be safely combined with conventional cancer treatment, but it can lead to better survival outcomes and a longer life for people suffering from brain and lung cancer. Common treatment options for cancer such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy can be expensive and sometimes ineffective. However, a new clinical trial tests the effectiveness of high-dose vitamin C in combination with standard treatment on health outcomes for patients with cancer. In the 1970s and 1980s, Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling, together with surgeon Evan Cameron, first hypothesized the clinical benefits of vitamin C for treating people with cancer. Since then, further studies in animals and cancer cell cultures suggested that a high concentration of ascorbic acid might prevent and treat cancer. Laboratory studies have shown that high doses of vitamin C may slow the growth and spread of prostate, pancreatic, liver, colon, and other types of cancer cells. A nine-month study explored the effects of high-dose vitamin C on cancer. To obtain a high dose in these studies, vitamin C is usually administered using intravenous infusion. Vitamin C has a short half-life of only two hours in the human body, which is why it must be administered in high doses as a treatment. In a Phase 1 safety trial published in Cancer 1, researchers at the University of Iowa gave brain cancer patients three infusions of vitamin C a week for two months, then two infusions a week for seven months. Patients also received standard cancer care involving radiation and chemotherapy. The results of the Phase 1 safety trial were extremely encouraging. Patients experienced an increase in overall survival time of four to six months, thereby allowing them to survive for a total of 18 to 22 months, almost two years, as opposed to the typical 14 to 16 months. Researchers noted that the vitamin C was well tolerated and featured only minor side effects such as dry mouth, along with rare short-lived episodes of elevated blood pressure. Vitamin C, even at high levels, isn't toxic to normal cells. Calling the results promising, the study authors said they were guardedly optimistic about vitamin C's cancer-fighting potential. Of course, one can only wonder how these patients would have done with additional non-toxic cancer therapies. For the upcoming Phase 2 of the clinical trials, the scientists will examine the effects of vitamin C in participants with stage 4 lung cancer, as well as in those with highly aggressive brain tumors. Vitamin C works against cancer by selectively targeting the Achilles heel of cancer cells. According to researchers, the mechanism that might explain the potential efficacy of vitamin C in treating lung and brain cancer relates to the cancer cell's metabolism. As a consequence of the faulty metabolism that occurs inside the cancer cell's mitochondria, these cells produce abnormally high levels of so-called redox-active iron molecules. These molecules react with vitamin C and form hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen peroxide-derived free radicals. Scientists think that these free radicals drive cancer cell death by damaging the cell's DNA, all without harming normal healthy cells. The free radicals are also thought to weaken the cancer cells and make them more susceptible to radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Although this is the most recent study on vitamin C's cancer-fighting powers, it is by no means the only one. Past research has shown that a combination of intravenous high-dose vitamin C and chemotherapy drugs help to slow down the progression of cancer while alleviating side effects of chemotherapy drugs. The entire nine-month protocol of vitamin C treatment carried an $8,000 price tag above standard insurance billing, less than the cost of a single dose of some immunotherapy and chemotherapy drugs. Safe non-toxic, low-cost, and effective, vitamin C seems poised to take its place as a promising cancer treatment of the 21st century. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.